Hey, Peggy, it's John Herman of Property Up. I put together the market analysis for your home at 435 Washington Street in Barrington, and hopefully we can go through it here and you'll get a good understanding of what your home value is currently. A little bit about myself. Uh, I've been selling homes for 17 years. I am top 5% in the state of Illinois, sold about 1,000 homes, and I also live in Barrington, so I will get a better perspective on all the homes that are in the area than most agents that you're going to be able to work with. Also, once I do get a chance to walk through your house and get a better idea of condition and everything else, I'll, I'll be able to give you really uh, a, a more accurate price than we're going to be able to talk through right here. Here, I just want to show you what was currently sold in the past six months as an appraiser would do if you were to list and sell your house with me, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to share the report that I created for you uh, right now. So hopefully you can see the report that I'm sharing here. And this is uh, for your property. Uh, 435 Washington Street. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to walk through everything that happened in the area and pinpoint where you're at here on the map. So here you are on the map. You are the purple house. Um, the red homes on this report are the homes that have sold. The green homes are the homes that are currently on the, con uh, on the market for sale. And um, the homes that are yellowish, those are the homes that are under contract. So That'll give you a better idea of the map. And then as you look at this long list, they broke it down by sales, pendings, and actives. So these are the solds, these are the pendings, and those are the actives. And they also break it down by how many beds, how many baths, how much square footage, and uh, the price point. And, and you'll see we have, we're all over the map here. We're looking at things from 400 to 500 to 600 to 700. We are all over the map. So uh, at least you'll get an idea of condition of each one as we walk through it. Now, if as you see the breakdown here, when you see this price per square foot, this is uh, something that sometimes builders look at. Um, however, that is the last resort that you would look at when you're doing a market analysis on your home. You want to make sure that you just look at bedrooms, baths, and square footage. That's really the concentration that any appraiser will be using when they are putting together an appraisal for a loan. So as we go through here, we're just going to go through uh, one by one on the properties uh, so you get a good idea of condition. So this first one here, uh, 514 North Avenue, uh, you can see this had five bedrooms. It had three full baths. It was 3,000 square foot total. It was on the market for 80 days, built in 1924, had a pool. So, you know, pools are something that 50% of the people want and 50% of the people don't. So I don't, I don't think it's a, a great thing when you have a pool and I don't think it's a bad thing either. It really depends on who your buyer is. Um, but as far as condition is concerned, we have pictures here to show you what the inside looks like. Um, so I'll zoom in here, see if I can get that in a little better for you. So you can see they had wood floors, they had uh, upgraded lighting, and cabinets were replaced at one time, it looks like more recently than other. They did a little staging here, uh, but it didn't turn out too well for their photos, unfortunately. Uh, looks like they have quartz or granite in the kitchen. And that's about it. They didn't have a whole lot of photos in that one. So um, that gives you an idea of what the price point would be at for $587,500. I know that they have a little more than what you guys have in your house, but the, the information will get uh, better as we go through this. You'll see. Uh, here we go. We got 214 Stolt Street, and we are looking at um, 645000 on that one. It was closed, and it closed after being on the market only five days. And that one was also 3,000 square feet. It had four bedrooms and four bathrooms. And I believe this one was updated heavily, if I remember correctly. Oh, and they don't have the photos for that one. But this one was updated heavily. I, I think they did a lot of extra work on this. I just do not know why they did not have photos for that. All right, so we'll move on next to 736 Oak Road. So that one was on the market only four days, 3,500 square feet, uh, four bedrooms, six bathrooms. 
Holy cow. And uh, the price went for $735,000 and that sold in November of last year. And there will be uh, some photos in here for you to see. You have the, see they have slate right there when you come in and foyer. There we go, there's the photo. So the kitchen, absolutely gorgeous, been updated. White is the new style kitchen. Everybody loves white and you see the uh, gray colors here and the white trim, that is all the rage. That's what everybody is doing. It even looks like they painted their, their door white on the inside of the home. That's kind of interesting. Um, but this is the new style that definitely demands more money when it's all updated with stainless appliances, granite, and white and the new grays that are out there. Uh, 615 South Cook Street, this sold in six days. You start to see a pattern on days of, of, on the market. It's incredible what things are selling for and how quickly they're selling for. Uh, so $715,000, this sold in November. It was five bedrooms, five bathrooms. I know you guys don't have as many. And um, what you can do for these normally is uh, a bedroom can give you anywhere from fifteen to twenty thousand dollars extra on a home, but then you have the additional square footage as well. And then bathrooms will give you anywhere from a half bath, five to eight thousand, uh, and a full bath, ten to fifteen thousand. So that'll give you an idea if you're looking at these going. I don't have five bathrooms. That's how you can do the math to remove that. This one was definitely a much larger home at forty three hundred square feet, and. Um, that one sold in six days again. Let's go through the photos here. A big wide open kitchen, uh, granite, uh, white cabinets again with glass door fronts on some, uh, stainless appliances, gray colors. Uh, I love the ceiling. That it, It's an expanded ceiling for sure in this room as well. So that probably gives the, the feeling of large home in those rooms. Oh, look at that, it's even in the bedroom as well. This bathroom is updated very nicely. So you can see when you get the sevens, you have to have a specific amount of updates and what people are looking for. So if you look at here, uh, 135 West Russell, that had four bedroom, two baths, that was 2,100 square feet. That's closer to what you guys have, but I don't know about this pricing. I, it's hard to tell without seeing. Uh, 89 days on the market, that took a while. And that one just closed in uh, February this year. So that took a little while. Big open area right here. Very nice. Um, $500,000 on, see the acreage just right here on a small lot. And as we go through, here's some more photos. They did the same. Everybody has light gray and white trim. I don't, I, you're starting to notice that. And white kitchens. That is... That is what everybody wants these days. And you can see uh, most of these homes that we're going through have that already. And here is another home at 601 South Grove. Um, this one went on and off the market within one day, did not have any photos. It had three bedrooms, three baths, and was 1,900 square feet. Unfortunately, we have no photos for that one. Um, this home at 635 South Cook, that one was listed at about $800,000. Very large home, four bedroom, four baths, 3,200 square feet, and it is active under contract, sold in one day. So this, um, this is more like what the market is going like right now. And what I can tell you is don't hire a real estate agent that will hire, uh, that, that, that will take your home and sell it in one day. You have to sell it in more than one day because you can't get enough people to go through your home to get as most money as you possibly can if you sell it in one day, it's impossible. So, um, and, and you could start bidding. I can do lots of different things if you let me list your home other than sell it in one day. That is uh, not, not acceptable as far as I'm concerned. Um, so as we go through the home here and cook, I love darker colors too. You just gotta be careful with them. But this one has a nice uh, a feng shui wall to, to put focus in on there before you get into the kitchen. And uh, kitchen's absolutely drop dead gorgeous in this home. And I can see why this home sold uh, very quickly. 
Here's one at 423 Ela Street that sold or is one under contract. That's $429,000, three bedroom, three bath and 1600 square feet. And that kitchen is also updated the same exact way. White cabinets, granite and or quartz with a subway tile as backsplash sold in 10 days. And um, let's see if we can find some more photos. There's more photos here. Now this is on Ela, so this is definitely a busier street. So, you know, the street that you're on is not Ela, so it's you're, you're gonna get more money for your home because the more traffic, the more issues you have with power lines, tollways, main roads, that reduces your value. Um, you guys, I, I, I drove by the other day just to uh, take a look at the outside. Everything looked good. And I've sold on the other side of your same street uh, just, uh, I think, two years ago. So I know the area pretty well over there. They have a black trim on their windows, which is an interesting feature. Um, but they also have the wood floors, and it looks like they have updated recently. Here's another one at 148 West Station Street. That one was listed at 699,000, still on the market. We have three beds, three baths, 2,200 square feet, and it's been seven days that this home has been on the market. Um, you can see it is built in 1924, and that it's been active since the 24th of February. And if we go through the photos here, let's get back to that price real fast as a reminder, $699,000 as a list price. And it's a two car garage as well. Three bedroom, three bath, white kitchen cabinets, granite countertops, wood floors that you're starting to see, right? This is what everybody's doing. So, um, oh, they even have a second kitchen, excellent. Um, so, and, and that's, that's probably why they're demanding a higher price because they have that extra kitchen. But as you can see, uh, the, the style is very much the same in all these houses, but that's what people want. Um, here's another home that's on Russell, West Russell Street, listed at $550,000. And that one went up about on March 4th here, three bedroom, three bath, 1800 square feet. And um, so what I saw in the tax records for you guys is that you're running at about 1,700 square feet. I don't know if that's still true. So that is why I'm kind of sketchy on where to go with this report until I actually walk through. But I just wanted to walk you through some of these to get a better idea. Looks like a newer roof. I love the front entrance of this house. I, I like that a lot. Um, one half bath in this one along with the two full baths, tax are uh, $7,900. And let's walk through the photos. Yep, they have uh, light gray, it's very light gray, wood floors and white trim. Um, so they've updated this home as well. They have the white cabinets. Uh, it looks like granite countertops. The flooring is an interesting uh, choice on this home in the kitchen. Um, so, you know, that, that 550 ish, I'm guessing that's where you guys would probably be around just because of the square footage. Um, but I just want to show you everything before we get done here. Uh, this one on Craner, this 118 North Craner, this is $649,000 currently on the market, four beds, three baths. This looks like a recent rehab to me at 2,700 square feet. And here are the photos. They went with white and they have the wood floors in there as well. White kitchen cabinets and stainless steel appliances. I feel like it's deja vu, Bill, right? You're, you're seeing all these homes and they're all the same. Uh, but that again is what the buyers like these days. Here is one at 314 East Liberty Street. That one is listed at 499 and that's 1800 square feet. That's a three bedroom, three bath home. And I love uh, this wall. That's great feng shui to give you a focus point. Uh, wood floors, white trim, and white kitchen cabinets. I, I, this home is staged very well. I like the photos um, uh, to boot. So I think this home is also in, um, in, in definitely in selling condition. So uh, average home's been selling at about 98 0.9% of uh, the market, uh, the listing price that you're marketed at. 
and they're selling in 30 days, but I think it's a lot less than that. This market is uh, much tighter than that 30 days. I, I, I strongly feel that um, what will happen is if we do end up listing your home, it will sell very quickly. Um, so again, it's John Herman of Property Up. That is the report. I am going to email that report out to you, but I just wanted to give you a walkthrough so I can give you a better idea of what to expect with the report and my viewpoints, basically. So again, John Herman Property Up. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you have any other questions, definitely feel free to reach out. And I hope this helps you out. I hope that's giving you exactly what you're looking for. If you need the report to be better, I will absolutely come over at any time. And, and give you a better idea and a better indication of what the true value would be, okay? Thank you very much, Peggy. We will talk to you later, all right? Bye-bye.